This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that like button, and that subscribe button. Like, like, like. Okay? Let's get right into it. So we got Meek Mill reacting to Takashi. He decided to take the stand today. The rumor was not true. He is taking the stand, and he is telling it all. Now, Meek Mill gave some positive feedback and said, hey, Takashi takes the stand today. Live your truth. And be happy with living your truth instead of trying to be something you're not. You know, Takashi is not what he was, okay? But I will say that this happens in the mafia and everything. People do live that life and still talk because they don't want to do so much time, right? This happens with many, many like mafia types and everything. People who were contract to take people out will tell people. So 69 is going to the federal courthouse. Don't be an internet gangsta. Be yourself. Cloud is not the route. Route get money. He's right. Okay, but also stand on some morals and principles. You know. Now, I don't know. This this Takashi thing is just played out. It's like played out as a soap opera. So we'll have to see what he said. We won't know till tonight or maybe tomorrow. Uh, I don't know when those things hit the uh, public. But we will know everything soon and exactly how we worded it and everything. But he's pointing everybody out. He's definitely, I think today is just against the people who took him and took his jewelry and everything. But uh, we'll see how that all plays out. I'll keep you guys up to date on that. Then we got uh, Nicki Minaj and Drake. Okay, so Nicki Minaj announced her retirement about a week and a half, two weeks ago. But before that, she went on a tirade against certain people. Um, she's sick of people talking about her and specifically she went after DJ academics. Okay. So DJ academics took this as a moment to, uh, capitalize off of, right? So he is now granted in his DM, she went a bit far talking about his family in his house, you know, like where he lives and everything. That's a bit far for some comments. Um, so, but, you know, I think academics is going a little too far with this because, um, and, and it's my opinion, he can do whatever he wants. It's his, it's his thing, but you don't really want to, uh, you don't want to poke the bee's nest. Okay. So like when you're poking the bee's nest with a stick, you might get stung and she has a lot of money. Okay. So she has the mansion of the bee houses. Okay. And with that money. She can make things happen if she wants to invest it in that. And you don't want to, you don't want to, if someone's mad at you, you don't want to push him over the edge. That's all I'm saying. So he goes into detail how Drake and her have a problem and how it developed. He said the whole Meek and Drake thing is her fault because when they were in a store, something happened with, see, I think this came out. The timeline doesn't make sense because the way he was telling it, but in the, unless the timeline was off, the way he was telling it is that they ran into Quentin Miller in a store and they, they were going to make him apologize because and the only reason he would be apologizing is because he was, ex, he was put, it was put out there by Meek and, you know, DJ drama rumored to have leaked this information to Meek that Quentin Miller had written certain songs for Drake. I think off of uh, what they're still missing. So I, I forget what the name of that thing is. But anyways, uh, so anyways, he's saying they amped, she amped up Meek's crew to be like, yo, you gonna let him talk back to you like that and amped him up to, you know, be, rough him up a little bit. Then when they went back to the store, they Meek didn't only had like like couple like forty thousand on them, and they were buying a bunch of stuff. And he asked Nikki to put it on her card, and he'll get it right back. And she said Drake would never do that, and walked out the store. And then you know Meek driving home, she left him there. And then when Meek was driving home, he tweeted out, "Oh, Drake doesn't even be writing his own lyrics. I only tweeted this to." show someone I don't care. 
Now, this had already been going on before then, this Drake and Meek Mill thing. Now, from what the way Meek described it while he was with Nikki, Drake, he didn't feel the same energy from Drake. So I don't believe that story. I know academics, I don't think, I'm not saying he made that story up, but I think someone probably fabricated that story. The way it originally started, Meek broke it down that he didn't feel like Drake was showing him the same love when he got out of jail, okay? And especially when he got with Nikki. Drake was jealous of their relationship, which I believe, okay? And he didn't, he specifically, there was a couple things, but the last draw was when Drake didn't show up to the power show in Philly and kind of dissed him. And he felt slighted behind that. And then he decided to expose Drake. That's what really happened, okay? I don't care about all industry insider stuff. Meek said it out of his mouth, okay? While he was doing that interview with Taxstone, that's when he said it. I don't know if I believe that story where she left him and said, oh, Drake wouldn't do that. I don't believe that. That's a little, that's a little cinematic for me, okay? And I'm not saying he's lying. I'm saying that somebody told him that to make a juicy story. Okay. I do believe the whole thing that happened with Quentin Miller afterwards because Quentin Miller was making, you know, he was saying Drake didn't, yeah, he didn't want to be in the middle of that stuff. Okay. (laughs) Who wants to be in the middle of some drama? Anyways, I wouldn't keep poking the bee's nest. That's just me. Let Nikki do her. She's going through something. I don't know what it is. Um, She's still an amazing artist. We can all agree she's a legend. We can all agree that some things shouldn't be public, you know, these rants and everything. I'm sure she'll be fine. We all go through a roller coaster of emotions during our lives. She's going through one publicly. It's just a little different. Okay. So anyways, she'll be fine. She's going to release her album. I bet you she's not retired, but I bet you she does need a break. She's been through a lot. We've all been through a lot, and we all need breaks at one point. Anyways, guys, what do you guys think? This is Jordan Tower with JT News. I will check you guys in the next one. Um, I'll link the, the academics thing below, and you guys can assess it for yourself. All right? Appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, and I'll check you guys later.